Hi, I'm Leona Vanderhoff and welcome to Blue Prism University's How to Choose the Correct Capture Type on an Interact Form. There are two parts that make up this how-to video. Across the two videos, we'll look at each capture option available when creating an Interact Form, and we will look at the configuration of each and show how they appear on the form to the user. This is part one, where we will look at the common configuration setting for all types and those specific to text, text area, paragraph, numbers, date and time types. In part two, we'll be covering the remainder capture types, upload, horizontal rule, drop downs, radio and checkbox groups and tables. There will be a demo on each capture type and at the end of the part two demonstration video, we will see them all in a published form. Before we launch into each capture type, a quick overview of all capture types. There are 12 in total and all will allow you to capture data using input fields within the submit process. The only exception to this is the horizontal rule, which is used for purely as a visual element. Each capture type has an automation ID, which can be referenced in the Interact VBO for manipulation. Let's start with creating a text field. It is the most ubiquitous field type and accepts characters and or numbers. You will soon see that many of the fields that we're going to look at will be common across most of the field types. Let's look at the mask and purge data options. They are there for when you may not want the data to be displayed or stored in Blue Prism. These are very important and please refer to the Blue Prism Interact How to Mask and Purge Data and Interact Form video on the Blue Prism University for more information around these fields. Initial state is the status of the field when the user opens the form. Further status changes can be controlled via the VBO, for example, making a field visible at different stages of the process if a field is set as hidden initially. Enter a label, which is the name of the field, and note the automation ID will be auto-populated, and this is the unique identifier for this field. You can add a description if desired, and a placeholder is supplied, and this will appear in the field's value to be overwritten by the user. If the need to control the values that the user enters is required, you can either use the simple or regex option. Please refer to the how-to video on controlling what a user enters in the Interact Form field. When fields have been completed, press Create Field and you will see it on the Edit Form screen. I have created a last name field in exactly the same manner I had created the first name field. Let's create an addressed field with a text area type. The text area has many of the same configuration options as the text capture type, but this field enables the user to enter a larger amount of information in multiple lines of text, up to 3,500 characters. It allows data to be entered in alphanumeric combinations, so both letters and numbers are accepted. You can test the fields on the right-hand side of the Edit Form field to ensure you are creating fields as expected. The paragraph type allows the user to add formatted text, bold, underlined, italicized, etc. Common usage cases is for headings or dynamic text. Paragraph fields are limited to 500 characters and you can also add a hyperlink to the text. The numbers field, unsurprisingly, only accepts numerical characters, with the exceptions of a full stop as a decimal point or a comma for the thousand separator. There are some additional configurations to consider. The prefix character adds a character to the number in the form display, commonly used for currency symbols. No decimal values will be allowed when this is selected. The decimal point place is the number of decimal places for the entered data. The maximum is 15. Show commas adds a comma value whenever a number exceeds a thousand. Minimum max value as we've seen before and the step values will specify the value increments. You can either specify this directly or with the arrows next to the field. There is also an initial value. The date field provides several settings that allow you to control how dates are entered as well as how they are displayed. The date format, where you can choose from the UK, USA or the international format. When you select allow dates, you can choose from one of these three options, any, only past, only future. For example, if your form asks for the user's date of birth, you could limit the entry to only dates in the past. You can also set the initial value as well as a date restrictions. 
We look at these options fully in the How to Configure Date Restrictions on an Interact form, available on the Bloopersome University. There is only one field that can be used to control the user entry in the time field, which is the initial value. This field will be set a default in the display and the user can change as required. Please see the second how to configure video, which will cover the upload, horizontal rules, drop downs, radio and checkbox groups, and tables. Thank you for watching this video. If you wish to learn more about Interact or any other Blue Prism products, please visit the Blue Prism University via the link in the description below. Visit the Blue Prism University community to get support from other members and participate in various discussions via the link in the description below.